Hey everybody, it's Brian, PMB Homesteading. Thought I'd do a little walk around the yard and show you how things are progressing with the uh, first week of June. Just had the uh, first week of pretty good weather for June. Usually it's pretty wet here, but uh, I thought I'd show you the lower deck here. We've been eating off this kale, getting a lot of our uh, meals. We just had uh, breakfast off of this kale this morning. Paula took this and the uh, the spinach and all the tops that were starting to go to seed and she chopped that up, sauteed it and made some uh, great eggs that we got from the local farmers market. Since we don't have chickens yet. But the garden boxes, they seem to be doing pretty well. I mean we're still going to seed with the uh, this beta mix and so we're gonna let those go to seed. We can harvest that. We'll be able to just drop that right back in here. We do have some sunburn on the uh, the outer areas here. This is what I was kind of talking to you guys about was, you know, with the, the shade cloths, you know, they're protecting the back side now, but as far as the front, we're still getting a lot of the, uh, the sunburn because we had a couple days last week that got pretty hot. So you can see that it got a little bit of, a little damage there. So I may have to end up putting the extra piece of cloth, drooping it down over the front of this, especially with, you know, the warmer weather starting to come. So that'll probably be something that I'll do next week. And uh, here's our spinach, and the uh, the chard is starting to actually come back because the birds aren't getting in here. So I'm pretty excited about that, you know, because here's some of the old damaged stuff from the birds. A little bit of sun scald on this one, but uh, looks like it's starting to bounce back. Some new new growth coming out of the center here. And the birds haven't been coming around here because of this netting, this uh, the shade cloth. So it kind of I think it kind of freaks them out, makes them not want to uh, come and hang out back here. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's see, let's go down this way. The little hammy hanging herb garden seems to be doing pretty well. I put some organic uh, fertilizer in here. The uh, the parsley seems to be doing a little better than the uh, the uh, cilantro, but I noticed that uh, this last week when we had that hot sun, it started to look like it's getting a little bit burned, so I may have to take this and move it back against that wall over there where the chard, or not the chard, the, uh, the kale is at. That way it'll prevent it from uh, getting that kind of sunburn because that sun gets pretty hot during the you know mid mornings oh, I was gonna show you guys the, uh, the peas so we got our peas here they're starting to finally pop out some pods we've been feeding that to our little pug Benny he loves peas and then we've got our squash there's some squash down there so the, uh, the squash is starting to really kick in you can see down in here there's a lot of squash on this one starting to form down underneath couple of them are you know kind of pooping out down there those are the original ones that were on there when I transplanted but uh, I'm not too worried about it you can see there's some squash on that one back there eggplants seem to be doing okay we haven't had the really warm weather that you know these eggplants really liked when they were getting it inside the uh, inside grow tent so they're not uh, kicking into full gear yet but the squash they're seeming to, to really like it you know, all of those. And here's the uh, the basil. I don't know if we've got anything sprouted. I did put this greenhouse plastic over it the other day just to try to help it because it was staying a little bit too cool for the germination. So I'm not seeing anything yet. Tomatoes are doing well. I mean, you can see that they're uh, having to be tucked back in all the time now. That's Paula likes to do is come out here and tuck them in because you get that smell of tomato on your hands. That's the best smell. Here's some more peas. Ooh, I'll take that one. There's nothing better than fresh peas. I love gardening. Let's go look at these squash. A lot of buds. Oh, this is the patty pan. See, there's one of those little patty pans down there. You can see there's just a massive amount of opened up flowers and then this one here has a ton that are really coming in this is this by far is our best performing box out of the whole yard because it gets morning sun as well as all the afternoon see look at all those squash back there there's some zucchinis there's a little eggplant back there look at the size of that eggplant that is cool We got the apples, call them our apples again. They're doing really well. Tomatoes back here. You can see there's, this is a Matt's Wild, so it's got the 
tomatoes forming on there, little cherries. Peas are going really great. Oh, there's some more pea pods. You can see the tomatoes on here. Now all the tomatoes have pretty much got fruit set on them now in some form or another. You can see those there. There's some of the Montesinos. They're the grape tomato. Bunch there. Oh boy. I'm looking forward to the summer summer harvest. Here's the apple. And this weekend I uh I came down and uh, I took out my compost tea that I make and the big 55 gallon drums that I have on the side of the house and I was putting it all around the, uh, the bases of the fruit trees. So I take about five gallons of that for each tree and then I dump that around the What are you doing little piggy pug? Piggy pug? Hey piggy pug. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Oh, did you get your dinner? Did you get your dinner?